morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video we're in Epping and we're repairing a Porsche 996 I believe. Uh, got some corrosion on the front wing that he wants sorting out. Um, I think the car's going for a full resto next year he said. He just wants the wing tidying up for now. So um, yeah, let's get over there and I will uh, show you it. Uh, what we're going to do and how we're going to sort it out. There we go guys, lovely little 996. So today's task is we're doing this wing. Um, customer had a little bit of corrosion underneath that he was dealing with himself and he had some low tack tape on here and this was previously painted. And as you can see, it peeled the paint off when he pulled the tape off. So um, yeah, something that's got to be addressed. So we're going to try and repair this and then uh, We'll lacquer the whole wing, we'll blend the wing in, obviously. Uh, try and make it look pretty. Uh, there's nothing flaked off on that side, but um, obviously the customer wants it right, he loves the car, needs all sorting out. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and address this. I've got a feeling some of this is going to flake and lift and move um, as we go along, but we shall see. I'm probably going to start by hand so we're less aggressive than putting a DA straight on it. Uh, it's all pretty solid in there. It's got a little tiny bit of corrosion and uh, he's dealing with it and putting some uh, rust treatment and that on the inner side part. So, yeah, we should get that looking okay. Uh, car is pretty, pretty immaculate, to be fair. So, um, we've got to keep it looking clean and nice. Uh, so, yeah, let's crack on. I'm going to start sanding this by hand and see if we can feather it out or it might flake off and chase so we'll see what we what we'll end up with Just used a little clean and strip disc. We had a little bit of corrosion on this lip. I've removed it the best we can, so we've got a fighting chance of it not um, coming back off again. So I'll feather all this out and then we'll get this ready for some UV primer. Uh, the UV primer that I've got, you can use direct to metal, and it's obviously sort of not corrosion proof, but it's got corrosion inhibitors in it, so it says. So uh, hopefully that'll work. Let's try and feather this all back out. But um, yeah, it's looking a lot cleaner on there now. mess is from me as previous people um, this wing's been painted before I've got some sort of sanding scratches up there um, I quoted to repair this and clear the wing um, he is getting it all redone uh, at a later date but this is just to protect it I suppose um, but yeah we'll uh, see even a hair in there <laughs> don't even know if that show on camera but yeah right let's get this all prepped so what we've done is we stripped it with a cleaner strip disc 180 320 and then we primed it with our uv primer and that is like a direct metal as well so it's, it's corrosion properties are in it 
anti-corrosion should I say uh, yeah so what I'm gonna do is probably 320 400 6 8 finish the whole lot on 8 uh, we'll mask everything off and prep the rest of the panel ready for uh, the blend yeah let's crack on Start getting this ready, mask it all off, get it all prepped, ready for paint and clear. I'm going to show you a little trick on these Porsches if you don't know. Um, get yourself a little 5mm socket. Some Porsches will have the original tool kit with the tool. So on the side in here, unscrew this little clip. And it should be there. Right, pull the carpet back. There's a rubber bung. Take the bung out, and inside that rubber little bung, you can get a 5mm socket on this if you haven't got the original Porsche bit. And you undo it, uh, sorry, no, you do it up clockwise. My bad, I forgot about it. It's been a while since I've done one. You'll hear the mechanism move, and then you'll see the headlight slide. If it doesn't pull out, you just do it anti clockwise a little bit. One second, just gonna use two hands. Right, so it's not releasing. So you then change the ratchet, go the other way a little bit, and then it releases the clip. And then that's it, it removes. Some of the older models have a plug um, that you disconnect, but this model is, it clips in and slides in that plug there. And now we can mask in there and get a nice finish around that headlight. Is it this rubber seal? Um, it's a bit tight around that wing. It just makes life easier. And it takes seconds. That was it in real time. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start getting this all masked off ready for prep. some clear coat on this.
Let's go, round two. clean as a whistle. Don't even think this warrants a polish. I literally break the fly, I touched it and it fell off. There's no mark. There's a few old previous stone chips up here but that wasn't anything to do with us. It's looking pretty nice. All the repairs lovely. Looking good. Let me get it unmasked and clean it up and uh, decide what we're doing. Go guys, job dropped. I'm leaving that be. Yeah, very nice, very clean.